I'm here on a September afternoon at Bletchley Park in Buckinghamshire, a location made famous as the place where the German Enigma codes were cracked at the beginning of the 1940s by some of Britain's finest minds, giving Britain a key advantage in the Second World War. It's an apt setting for the finale of BBC Two's The Code Challenge. It's been a mathematical journey for many, but now we're down to the last three competing to be the true code breakers, code breaker. They spotted clues in the TV series, solved tricky riddles, found prime numbers in the strangest of places, and worked through a fiendish 82-page puzzle book called The Ultimate Challenge to emerge as the three finalists. Helen Bennett, who has a PhD in physics, Pete Ryland, a computer programmer, and Dave McBrien, who studied maths and artificial intelligence in Dublin, a pretty talented trio. They have just one last challenge to determine who's the ultimate codebreaker. Hello. Great to finally Hello. meet you all, yeah, and congratulations you. on getting so far. So Thank you. This is D-Block, and inside this famous location are three folders with details of the puzzles that we want you to solve in order to win the competition, get your hands on that amazing mathematical sculpture. So you've had the rules explained to you. Yes. So now's the time to go and collect your folders, and we're about to begin. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no pressure then. Well, here we go. So you don't know what the folders contain or where the information will take you. You have two hours. The clock start now. You can open your folders. So even I'm feeling a little bit nervous. It's like I'm doing finals in Oxford again. Let me show you what nastiness we prepared for them. So the first puzzle we set our contestants is actually based on one of the key components of cracking codes that happened here at Bletchley Park during the Second World War, which is the identification of cribs. And now these are words that occur quite frequently in encrypted messages, things like the location or the name of the operator. And what the code breakers would do is to scan the encrypted messages to try and find repeated sequences which might be these crib words. So the puzzle we've set our contestants is to look at three encrypted messages and what they have to do is to try and identify the crib words. Now they've got nine possibilities and they've got to choose three of those. One is the location, the operator and the subject of the messages. And once the contestants come in and give me these three key words, these crib words, then I'll give them the location of the second puzzle. So, I need a location and a subject and an operator, please. Munich, report, PQG. So that's correct. So the second puzzle is in Alan Turing's office in Hut 8. Good luck. Well done. So the second puzzle is based on an early method used by the Polish code crackers to try and crack the Enigma cipher. And what they would use are these things here called Zygalski sheets. And they would take these sheets and have to shuffle them in a certain way in order to try and get some idea of what the Enigma machine setting was that day to encrypt the messages. Now the puzzle we've set our contestants is a little bit easier than that. Um, what they have to do is to arrange these six sheets, aligning the letters at the top such that they spell Turing. And once they've done that, it will reveal a message inside the sheets. Would you like to take the seat? Thank you. So, what is the message? I believe the code word is simply signal. That is correct. The next location is the bomb room in block B. Good luck. So, the third puzzle our players are tasked with 
is tracking troop movements based on certain decrypted messages. And using these messages, putting them in the right order, they will place their units on the map. And if they get them in the right locations, then the letters at the bottom will spell out a secret message which says, I crack the code. They can bring this decoded message to me and I will then tell them the location, the final location, where they're going to find the treasure. Oh, I can't get the blood out of this. I'm going to take a stab and think that might be it. I'm taking a stab at this one. I think the answer is the message, I cracked the code with an X. Uh, the next location is Station X. Wow. No, that's a thing of beauty. So, have you found it? Wow, congratulations. Yes, yes. So, Thank you. Well, yeah, that was amazing. So, uh, how, how was it for you, solving the three puzzles? It, it was quite tough, yeah. Um, the, the second one especially, it was... Uh, it was not a typical cipher. Were you trying to do something a bit too complicated, uh, perhaps, well, yeah, with it? Yeah, because I think there was a slight red herring with the letters along the side. But what about the last one? You were very fast with the last well, puzzle. Yeah, the last one, um, the, I happened to notice on the bottom of the figurines, there were the, the diagrams, the two-letter combinations. And uh, I was able to actually think about what words could be formed by putting those together. And so finally, you got your hands on the treasure. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's uh, absolutely amazing. So uh, congratulations Thank for you. being the ultimate code cracker and, and solving the, uh, the code challenge. Thank congratulations. <laughs> the second one I was just blocked on for so long, I was just getting uh, more and more frustrated. Yeah, I lost it from the very beginning, to be honest with you. Just couldn't see the patterns in the letters. Well, I was looking for matching patterns between letters, just couldn't see them. So after that, I'd lost it. We have a winner, Pete Ryland of Bermondsey. After a mind-melting final and over a month of problem solving, the code has finally been cracked, just as the Enigma code was cracked here at Bletchley Park and in Station X. And as with both endeavours, mathematics is a key to success. So congratulations, Pete. I Thank think you. you deserve a drink. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> If you haven't played the Code Challenge, and would like to just for the fun of it, then everything you need is at www.bbc.co.uk forward slash code. You can't win the prize, one of the contestants in the film did that, but hopefully you'll enjoy the journey.